Kivo app. So we're, you download the IP book, but we're not going to open it yet because we have to connect your iPad to um, the IP. What I'm going to do is I charge it overnight. So you can see there's no cords, we don't have to plug it in, and we don't have to worry about power for now. So just push in that, click the power button. Um, you know it's on because the lights come on. And so now, um, can you go into your settings menu? Good. And this connects to the Wi-Fi. It has its own Wi-Fi network. Great. And hopefully it'll pop up. This Wi-Fi button is blinking. I think we just might have to give it a minute because it was blinking orange. Now it's like orange and green, so okay. hopefully when there it's... There it is. Yay! Ziggy. Okay, so yeah, the Wi-Fi light finally turned all green and that's when it popped up. Okay, go for it. Hi, Ziggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I keep calling it IPVO because it's the brand, but it's actually the iZiggy. Okay, so it looks wireless. like it's on iZiggy right. Wi-Fi now. Okay. So basically, every time you want to hook up to this camera, you have to go through and select it through the Wi-Fi. Through um, the Wi-Fi, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay. You, you do have to reconnect it every time because, you know, in between times you might be on an internet kind of Wi-Fi network, True. and okay. so that's why you have to switch it over. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Good. We're going to launch the app, and uh, we can just go ahead and close this information screen. This is just all the different features, but we can click this, I think, question mark little icon to get rid okay. of the, the tutorial stuff. Okay, so you can see this is a regular kind of whiteboard app, and mm -hmm. um, the red marker is selected here. So if you drag your finger across the screen, you can actually just wow. draw it. Cool. And so you don't need the camera for any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you can erase it by hitting the trash can icon in the top right. Okay, so we've got the camera connected. I know it's still connected because my Wi-Fi light's green. And um, we're going to hit this, the third icon from the top left corner. Okay. okay. And that should give you the camera feed. Wow. So right now I've got the camera on the desk next to the iPad, and I have the camera down here. And, you know, ideally the camera, you set it up, and you do everything through the iPad app. So I like to put the resolution on high resolution because then when you zoom in, it maintains the clarity better. So this first um, icon in the center of the bottom of the screen, it's resolution. Okay. So go ahead and click that. Okay, and it's at the highest set of numbers, so we know it's already on the highest resolution. So okay. That's good. And this looks fuzzy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just hit the focus. And it'll just take a second to refocus itself. Oh, yeah. And once it kind of boop, boop, zooms in and out, it focuses, mm -hmm. as long as nothing changes under the camera, it'll maintain that focus. And mm -hmm. you can go ahead and actually try to zoom in on it on your iPad screen. So, okay. okay. Good, and you're pinching out. Oops. Oh, that's okay. Um, so you actually drew it, that's fine, but you know how to clear it now, right? Yeah. And the way I like to do it is if you click the hand icon up top, um, now you can move it around without okay. drawing on it. And you, this is zoomed in when you, because you did the, the fingers mm -hmm. and then pinching it out. Yeah. And if you find that it is a little fuzzy here, you can always refocus it and see if it'll kind of re-render the image. Okay. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but... Mm -hmm. it, I now, mean, if, you mo if you put that more perpendicular straight mm -hmm. down on it, yep. maybe that would... It's nice because this arm, um, this arm is very flexible. Mm -hmm. um, and then, do you want to try adjusting the camera so we can read what's on that yellow sheet on the board sure. right there? So I can just move it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has a couple of hinges. First, it's kind of finding it. Huh? Yeah, here. Let's. I'm gonna zoom this back small. out. Oh yeah, and it helps find it. Yeah. Okay. We can use those same monocular techniques of mm -hmm. finding the general idea and then zooming in. out in the middle. So now, let's see, to zoom in, I forget. Um, just like on any photo that you want to zoom oh, in oh, on. Oh, on the, yeah. oh okay. Uh -huh. I, I was looking for a button. Yep. Okay, there we go. And it's not in focus, so we'll have to shift that a little bit. It seems to be as big as it wants to get right now. Yeah. We'll see how good we can get it. 
Okay, so this is a little bit small for the board, but if, I think if the material were larger, like if it was uh, a regular class. Usually someone, yeah, wouldn't be presenting something that small. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, so there are some limitations to this, which yeah. is good to know. Um, but with yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, no. the counter back down, um, just for the purposes of showing what we can do on this app, because um, I wanted to show you some other cool feature here. I wanted to show how you can also annotate it. So. Um, you know, there's the markers that you had, mm -hmm. you had already discovered up at the top of the screen, but um, you know, you can also click the A button. Okay. And then let's say you just want to put, you know, study for Monday, mm -hmm. and you want to write on this picture. With my finger? Uh, anyway, just click maybe right there. Oh. And that'll bring oh, up your okay. keyboard, and you can make a note. Okay. And type it. <coughs> so. And I'm going to click the hand so I can move it back down, and it's right there. Um, okay, then it's on your document. And it's nice because you can then use it. Do you see these buttons on the bottom left corner? Yeah. Um, this first one, um, go ahead and just click it and see what happens. It takes a picture. Yep. Okay. All right, and it saves it. You can either save it to the camera roll or email the image. Okay. And then let's click close to get out of here. And let's say you're drawing some sort of diagram up on the board. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually click the video, uh, okay. and it'll actually capture the video through the camera if you taking notes on the board. And then you can save that also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very exactly. nice. Very nice. So you can follow a math problem or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. Um, one thing I notice is that when I have a student who is pointing the camera at like a smart board mm -hmm. because join me doesn't work because maybe the teacher's not using her computer to launch the information on the smart board. Um, you know, the smart board's pretty bright, so there's yeah, like a lot of the light. Glare, yeah. yeah. The nice thing is you can there's an exposure button here, um, mm -hmm. right next to the resolution button. So if you click that you can actually adjust the exposure okay. on something um, to make it lighter or darker depending mm -hmm. on what you need. Nice. And then the other thing is, um, you know, if a student, one of my students needs the reverse contrast, that student actually can turn on the inverse colors um, through his accessibility settings. Okay. And now he's got this in reverse contrast too. Very nice. Okay. Again, it's an image only, so there's no actual voice. You couldn't use voiceover. Right. So this is the difference between the screen sharing thing and then having actually this article in a digital format. Right. Um, that right. could be readable. Nice. I like the price. I like the portability of it.